Hey what's up guys welcome to customize the droid in today's video I'm going to show you how to install KitKat on Sony Xperia Tipo if you guys have been following my channel I have already made a video for the same regarding the in regard, regarding installing KitKat ROM uh, for the Tipo so this is my second video basically I have found another ROM that is a KitKat ROM for the uh, for the Sony Xperia Tipo the uh, the first ROM which I have, which I have made a video you can check in the description column below the link is available or you can click on this annotation uh, uh, here uh, this will redirect you to the video itself uh, that was the white rom and this rom is basically known as also known as named as a alienware rom so the very first thing is uh, is that your phone should meet the requirement that is your phone should be rooted uh, and the cwm recovery should be installed on your phone and the bootloader of your phone should be unlocked my f i have already rooted my phone and everything is done uh, the uh, if you guys are wondering how to do that check in the description column below the video tutorial is available so the very first thing you need to do is to download the uh, download you need to download the three files that is uh, basically the rom file the add-on file and the lock screen that is uh, that is a bug little bug so you need to flash the lock screen or uh, lock screen zip also so download all this file uh, all these three files check the description column for the download link it is available and then place it on the uh, sd card of your phone or even if you place it on the external sd card of your phone that is totally fine so now let's begin the tutorial uh, the very first thing you need to do is to uh, boot into the recovery mode so i will boot into the recovery mode first i'll switch off my phone okay so now it's done so now i'll boot into the recovery mode i'll power it on once you see that sony logo repeatedly press the volume down key this will uh, redirect you to the cwm menu so okay the very first thing which i advise everyone before doing or before playing any uh, anything with your with your phone is to take the backup so in order to take to take the backup of your phone uh, you need to get uh, go to into the menu backup and restore go to backup and restore or you can backup if you click on this backup this will backup into the sd card of your phone or if you you can also choose a external sd card for the backup backup to external sd card if you choose this option this will basically backup your rom to the external sd card of your phone so make sure you make a backup first so that in case anything goes wrong with your phone you have a backup to recover your phone okay so the very first thing we need to do is to wipe everything so here is the menu so the very first thing is that you will go into the wipe data factory reset option and you will select yes delete all user data so this will wipe uh, wipe everything from your phone that is the rom and everything which is there so once it is done uh, then you need to select uh, the second option that is sorry the oh, option which is below the wipe data factory reset that is the wipe cache partition click on that and then click yes wipe this will wipe the data and the third thing you need to wipe uh, is, is that you need to go to the advanced option and here you will file wipe dalvik cache click on select that option and click yes wipe dalvik cache so once it is done go back and then you need to flash the file as we did in the earlier video in the same way you need to flash these three files so the first i have kept it on my external sd card of your phone so click on install zip from sd card if you have kept it on the sd card of your phone click the first or select the first option i have kept on the external sd card so i will select this option external uh, choose zip from external sd card so here i have kept the rom and everything here okay oh, okay i will flash the rom first and then click yes so this will basically f flash the main rom that is the alienware rom first so just wait for the uh, zip to flash and wait for and wait for the confirmation that the zip has been totally flashed so i'll just come uh, I'll come right back once it is done 
okay so now it is done so once the main rom is been flashed uh, and you get the confirmation that the rom has been flashed successfully and it is complete you need to reboot to the system again click on the reboot system and then select go back so now wait for your phone to reboot into the uh, uh, into the system first uh, wait wait for your phone that uh, make sure that your phone gets reboot and it is it has been rebooted completely so uh, we will just wait for the phone to reboot you can see uh, the whole new boot animation uh, which is saying that it's an alienware rom down below that it says xperia okay so now my, now my phone has almost uh, finished booting uh, i will just make a quick setup for this i'll select the language click next uh, next and then no not i will try this later and then next and then next uh, and then next finish okay now my phone has been uh, has booted to the rom which we have installed uh, now so just wait for a minute uh, you can wait for one and a half minute or two uh, you can just check uh, check this from how it is and what are all things stuffs are there so once it is done once your phone has been completely uh, finished booting uh, after waiting for one and a half minutes or something so that your phone gets a completely boot so again we need to get into the recovery mode so you need to switch off your phone and get into the recovery mode again and flash the add-on in the same way okay so now we are again into the recovery mode so now we are going to flash the second zip file so inst select install zip from SD card install zip from external SD card uh, navigate to the folder where you have kept earlier we flashed this ROM file so now we are going to flash the add-on directly uh, guys uh, here you don't have to wipe anything you don't have to wipe anything just go and flash the add-on after flashing the ROM file so this will flash the add-on that's the add-on files which is required this is basically the update file for the uh, alienware rom so just wait for the flashing to complete and the confirmation that it has been flashed completely so it's in progress uh, it's almost done previously that uh, flashing the rom it almost took uh, a minute or two or something two to three minutes or something so it will initially take uh, a time for the for first boot uh, once you flash the rom file so just keep patience don't switch off your phone uh, one more thing guys before flashing or before doing anything like this uh, in flashing the uh, via CWM recovery make sure guys your uh, phone's battery is almost more than 80% because uh, mm, so that the phone doesn't get switched off in be between anything between the process of flashing or something so just make sure that your phone is been charged and have some juice so now the add-on file has been uh, flashed and it's been completed so now we will reboot again go back and select reboot system now and select go back so this will reboot your phone and this will update the previous rom which we have uh, previous rom file which we have which we have flashed so just wait for the phone to reboot completely so that's it guys so we, you just have to flash this first rom file second the add-on file and wait okay so here you see a whole new animation which is the updated animation basically wait for the phone to boot up completely uh, and then again you need to flash the third file that is the uh, xperia t lock screen file so you don't have to wipe anything just go ahead and flash the third file once you finished flashing flashing this file so you will get something like this that android has been up, upgrading that is basically it is upgrading or updating all the apps which is already been installed on the phone that came pre-installed with this rom so you will see this message so, so just wait for the optimizing optimizing applications so it will optimize all the applications basically so just wait for the phone and wait for the uh, boot to complete and this thing is almost done it is almost done with optimizing all the applications on the phone so just wait for the initial boot it's finishing it says finishing boot
okay so here we are here we are with the rom which we have flashed so uh, you, you have some bugs with this lock screen so just flash the third file in the same way which we have flashed uh, which we have flashed the add-on in the same way you don't have to wipe anything just go ahead and flash the uh, lock screen zip file so that's it guys uh, here you are with the rom basically th this is a kitkat rom another kitkat rom uh, so i'll just show you that it is a kitkat rom you can see it is written 4.4 says android 4.4 kitkat just install this rom and let me know guys how your experience are okay the, the, uh, you can see something later written over here that is basically uh, the developer guy which have made this rom uh, so that's it's the name so what you can do in order to remove that uh, you can go into the option device features uh, smart setting here you will see the status bar text just uh, go into uh, check here click the spacebar once and then click ok so that will be gone so it's basically like you can update the name whatever you want and it will be there in the status bar so and it's done you click on ok and it's done and it is gone so that's it guys uh, this is how you can install the kitkat rom for sony xperia uh, tipo that's it guys please let me know in the comment column regarding the experience with this rom and the experience also experience with the previous rom it will be better if you guys comment in two different videos because this will help the viewers to know what what the rom basically is and how your experience is so let me know which rom is better this one or the previous one which i have uploaded with your experience so guys i have more i have more custom roms uh, so that those are basically the uh, ics rom or the jelly bean rom those are not the kitkat rom so if you guys are interested uh, do let me know in the comment columns down here i will definitely make a video regarding the same so that's it for now in customized droid make sure guys you subscribe to my channel for the for more updated videos feel free to comment in in the comment columns regarding the queries or the request or whatever whatever it is let me know in the comment columns what you guys really feel about the videos and the tutorial which i make so that's it for now guys enjoy customizing your phone